Hey there guys, it's Tom here today. I know I, I haven't done a video for a little while, but here it goes. <clears throat> I've also got a little surprise for you today, and I'll get to that in a minute. But today I'm talking about what if you want to hide a few files from, you know, just some family or, or friends, or maybe you've got a family coming over and there's someone who wants to use a computer, and you just want to bunk some files out of the way that are private and you know you just don't want them well you know you don't want them looking at them basically and you know you don't need to, them to be encrypted it just needs to be somewhere that they, they physically cannot get to well this is a free program that, that will do exactly that you just you literally install it and then you make a password then you go ahead and uh, th then the disk is locked, then you put in your password and the disk appears in Windows Explorer, you put files on the disk, it's empty, and then, you know, when you're done, you just click lock, and then, it, that's it. <laughs> and, yeah, you know, that that's all there is. This is a page to it. I'll put up the link so you can have a look at it. Uh, you know, they've got more information on there. Just wanted to show you the page, you know. And, you know, it says it right here. Let's say you share a computer between members of. And I know that it may look a bit dodgy because the English isn't too good on it, you know, right here. But, you know, don't worry about it. It, it. It's a good program, and these guys are good people. Now, this is a free program. It just, it, every now and then, it has a tiny, tiny little lag screen. And it doesn't bother you at all, and it only pops up, oh, I don't know, about a month, I think, for me. But it doesn't bother me, anyway. So, I'm going to get right to it. And, and here's the surprise. Ta yeah. Ta-da! So, I've got Windows 7. Um, this is just Windows 7 Basic. A friend gave it to me. I might put this on my own computer actually because it's a lot slimmer and doesn't come with all the trial crap that I get with my disc. But it, I might not be able to be, uh, to play games with it, so I'm not sure. But all the same. So I finally got Windows 7. I know it's Windows 7 Basic, but you know it is Windows 7. I've given it a gigabyte of RAM. And already it's stalling a little bit. But hey. That's what I've got to that's what you've got to expect with Windows 7. And the reason why I have my theme um, you know, on the basic theme on my own computer like this all the time is because it my my computer runs faster. And it's much better better when I'm doing these videos. A lot less pain. So, we'll just, you know, go to the link, right there. I'll put that link in the description. Just waiting for it. It's not a really big application, by the way. So, you go to download, just click the download button. And then, and then, you know, click here to download setup file. And then, if it doesn't come up, you click that button right there. Setup secret disk .exe. And we just say download file. It's only two megabytes in size. Been quite uh, busy recently. One, yeah, yeah. Summer holidays have just started, and uh, you know, not being able to do anything because of being a bit lazy. <laughs> I've got a bike now, so I cycle a lot. Uh, oh, anyway, back to this video. Uh, yeah. So next, and I agree. Next, and it. And uh, there it goes, it's a pretty simple installer reel.
really. And, you know, choose your language, say English. Make sure that you choose the right language because there's no way of changing it once it's installed because otherwise you have to uninstall it. And you can get free updates, so that's like their um, monthly newsletter. You can do that if you want to. I, I don't fancy it, so you know, click no thanks. And yeah, I'm not going to send anonymous data just because it's not a virus removal program. You know, I, I always let it do it on virus removal programs, but um, you know, not on something that doesn't really need it. You know, I, I just I just need something that will protect my my um, files. So I've got this installed on my own system, by the way. So you get an icon with Secret Disk One. If if you are you know lending your computer to someone or someone else uses it a lot. I would suggest that you delete this shortcut and the one in the start menu because you know they might click it and say, "Hey, what the hell's this?" You know, and say, "Okay, I, I want to know you know what files you're storing." Uh, you know, so watch out, kids. <laughs> um, so you double click it. I don't know why it says Secret Disk One. You know, I would have thought it just say Secret Disk. So I'm just going to put in a password. I'm going to say uh, Tommy. And it's just like making an account on a website or something. And then you say set pa password. Make sure you don't forget it. Your new password has been set. You can start using it right away to access secret disk. Would you like to unlock secret disk now? I'm going to say yes. So. When you get to this screen, all you got to do is you select the drive letter to use. You can select any single drive letter. Um, that is it that, that, is, that appears here. Just select anything that you want. So I'm going to say A. I, I, you know, it doesn't matter. And then you put in your password and unlock. Click the unlock button. Any moment. And there it is. So as you can see. I, I, you know, I honestly can't explain how it works. So it says, is it local disk C, local disk A, and they both got the same usage. Now, I know that this isn't some hidden folder or something because, you know, I've been to organize, uh, layout and search and stuff and, you know. Oh crap, hang on. Bloody things lagging. Okay, you know, so I've been to organize uh, folders, view, and I've, I, you know, I've unticked all the stuff that I need to untick, and I cannot find a secret folder or something. So I'm guessing it's just a partition, but then what doesn't make sense is, is that that partition is 13.8 gigabytes, you know, space, and it's the same as that. So, you know, I can't explain it. Um, so, you know, I, I want to hide some files, so, let's see, we make a new short, uh, a new text file on our desktop, and we open it up, I'm trying to, I don't know, private, details so you know this is a private document that I put my private stuff on to um, you know so I can remember it so let's see um, I'm just gonna put on you know just an example of something you know so Xbox Live Code card number Obviously not real. <laughs> um, password for VMware. 
And, you know, that's just like a load of stuff that I might want to keep private, really. So, yeah, you know, that's it. So, all I need to do is, you know, if you go into my computer, it literally just comes up as another drive. So, you just go into it and then, you know, plonk whatever you want to go in there. You know, obviously, preferably, you say, um, preferably, you say, move here. That won't come up for you, by the way. So, you know, say move, move it there, because you don't want someone seeing it. And then that's it. So, you know, let's just, you know, put some private pictures. Again, kids. <laughs> you know, private pictures <laughs> in there. Um, you know, so, paste. And then they're in there. So, you know, that, let's just say that these are... You know, loads of files that I don't want anyone seeing. That they're in there now. So what we got to do is we got to go down to the little icon down here, double click it, and then click lock. And that's it. Click OK. Go back to my computer, and it's gone. You know, I, I you know, I'm just frustrated. I, I cannot find where this person has put these secret files. I mean, you know, what the hell? So you see, that's it really. I'll show you a couple of other things. So you know, you have to go unlock. Oh, whoops, wrong one. Okay. Um. See password. Yeah. And unlock. So we have to do this. Oh right, so it, it reports when you do a wrong password. That's a good thing. Now, I don't know why Internet Explorer is opening up all of a sudden. Is it a hidden process? Like a crashy one? Nah, okay. So, you know, now I'm in, I'm, I'm back in here and I can, you know, move stuff around, whatever. Um, if you right click it and say show in the explorer, that, that's a quick way to get access to it. Uh, you go to settings, you have to say, you have to put in your password to go to the settings. So you can say suggest to unlock secret disk on Windows so blah 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 blah. Open secret disk in Explorer after unlocking. Yeah, that that is definitely one you want to put it on by the way. Uh, lock secret disk if screen save launched, definitely. And yeah, press F8, that's good. Hide tray agent icon. Now I have no idea how you would get to that, so I'm not going to say that. Ask for a password when opening dashboard. That might be more secure. I mean, that's up to you, but I wouldn't do that personally. But uh, I'd say those are good. You know, check updates. It takes you to the website, and you know, it tells you there. And you can say register now, you know, buy it, even though you don't need to. So if I click lock a second, I, I just have a curiosity. And I say reset password. Yeah, that means that it will erase all files and folders located on your secret disk. So, you know, that's pretty darn good, I think. You know, for security, I mean, you know, that's what you want. Now, was there anything else? Hmm. Oh, right, yeah. There's another way you can go ahead and, you know, make a secret disk without using this. And this might be good if, if you know, this might be more secure if you've got someone coming to your house who's not computer savvy, you know, they just use it for business, you know, and... You know, they just, they, they, they trust that everything's okay. You know. So, if you go to disk management. Uh, 
Um, now then, you see this is our C disk. Now, please, please, please do not ever do this. But let's say that this is the C disk, right? And, uh, sorry, no, let's say that this is a D disk. So this is another partition, basically. So, you know, this is something that we put, you know, this is just like a new partition that we've created that we want to put secret files on, or maybe something else, and we don't want it to be seen all the time. So, basically, um, you've made the partition. I'll show you how to make partitions, by the way. You've made the partition. If you go to computer management and you right click and you say change drive letter in paths, and then if you say remove, ah, oh, crap. Hang on, let me just do something. Okay, I'm, I'm sort of going backwards here. So, th this is a a drive that's hidden by default okay so it's not got a drive there if I say add and then just say you know whatever um, G and click OK and then you know if we go to computer it's there so you know I can get into it and I can access it so this is this is the we're just pretending right now that this system reserve G drive it has already been there, you've made the partition willingly and I will teach you how to do the partition so it's there now what you do is you just right click click change drive letter and paths click remove, click yes uh, blah, 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 blah. do you want to continue? yes so now it's gone and that's it now, for that secret disk, I reckon that it might be doing what I just did there for you, but the thing is, it can't, it can't be, because, you know, it has the exact same usage and free space, so I cannot get over that. I mean, it's exactly the same on my system. So, you know, just don't worry about it, and... You know, it's a good program, so, you know, check it out. You know, you should, you should definitely check these things out. Is there anything else to say? Nah, that's about it. Okay, guys, I'll speak to you guys later. I hope this has helped you some, and I hope this has filled in the gap. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.